What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we're in the Clutch, baby. Hey! Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another visitor that you feel me. All right, top 10 scariest rides in the world 20. The world. Dude, so this was a few years ago. I haven't been on a roller coaster in quite some time. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been a little minute. Uh, I think the last one I was on had to be in at like Universal Studios or something like that. That was like probably the last. Damn, last bro, that was day. like in high school, right? Yeah, I hadn't, <clears throat> I hadn't been to like a theme park um, in a long time. I actually do want to go to one uh, relatively soon. Um, I've been in a carnival like a few years ago, but. I don't know. I just stopped doing it because, you know, I just, I can't stay in roller coasters no more. I don't know why. It's like the older I got, the more I value <laughs> certain <Just> things. <laughs> but I know I'll be there soon because, you know, Disney's going to have to be a trip eventually. And, you know, I'm pretty sure. But my kids are some daredevils. Like, Oh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. You were telling me that. Yeah. They got it. They be trying to get on everything. I just be like, I want you to know. Your dad ain't getting on there with you, so. <laughs> <laughs> facts, facts, facts. Nisha, facts. Nisha will get on there with him, so, you know, they got it. Facts, facts, facts. All right, well, we're going to check this one out. Let's see how scary they really are, and if we would actually get on them now. Let's see. All right. <laughs> each each one, will we get on them? <clears throat> yeah, see if we would actually get on them. I'm going to just tell you now. <laughs> As someone who's ridden a lot of rides, and I mean a lot of rides. They don't phase me like they used to. I remember as a kid being terrified of roller coasters. Something about the height and the speed really put me on edge. Now that I've ridden roller coasters all around the world, <clears throat> roller coasters don't scare me at all, not even slightly. The rides that do still freak me out are the ones that play with your senses, oh, make you feel no. unsafe no. or unsettled. It's rare that something like this happens, but every once in a while, an attraction comes along that actually freaks me out. These are the 10 scariest rides that I've ever ridden. And I want to start what things the hell off with the Forge Tennessee Mountain Monster. Mountain Monster is actually a complex Whoa. made up of a couple different rides, including a drop tower and saddle swing. But this is the main headlining attraction. It's what? kind of similar to a sky coaster, except you're actually sitting in a seat, strapped in. Uh-uh. They tilt you forwards oh, no, like a dive bro. coaster and then release you and you plummet oh. to the ground, dangling from cables. I think oh. what makes this so scary is the fact that the restraints are pretty minimalist. We're talking about some pretty tight seat belts. The fact that it forces you to look oh. at the ground and that you know cables oh. are the only thing preventing you from dying. Why niggas like to play awesome with that? Thrill that I recommend checking out. Nope, nope, See, nope, that, nope. That'd, be the, that'd be my only thing. You hear what he said? That's an awesome thrill. I ain't that fucking craving to be thrilled like that like nah bro i don't want to know will the cable hold or not find out next time on yep. if we make it an obituary for the nigga like nah yeah. bro i'm cool I'm so, so so the answer to this first one is hell no. it's hell no nah. <laughs> <laughs> at the number nine spot we nope. have what was at one point the world's tallest star flyer but it's the tallest star flyer nope. i've ever done this is the one down in orlando nope. and i've done this one countless times I bet you it doesn't have. give me quite like it used to but it still puts me a little nope. bit on edge i don't know if i'm quite at the but see that remind me of the last ride i rode this thing I'm- it just wasn't it didn't go up that high. Nah, I can't. I ain't, I, I, I'm good, bro. <laughs> I can see the whole next county over here. I'm good, bro. You I'm, see the lake over there? It's, it's, nah, I'm good, bro. It's still holding freeway. up. This thing's about 450 feet tall. So it's absolutely enormous. Yeah, and you're nah, hanging bro. from chains. And while I know that they're perfectly safe. This nigga said chains. The chains that you use to chain up a dog to a tree. Chains. I'm good, bro. I'm straight. Because all it takes is that one chain to clink. And you, that's it. <laughs> Take me to the king. Nah, I'm good, bro. I don't know what to bring. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what to bring. My heart just wanted a thrill. <laughs> now you about to chill. <laughs> Hell no. Nah, Clink. Bro. Yep, that's the last thing you heard. It's again, oh, wow. one of those things that plays with your senses. It makes you feel like something could go wrong at any time. But let me tell you, the views are awesome. I bet. The ride experience is great. It's uh-huh. super long. I always have a blast on this thing, but it doesn't mean it doesn't freak me out a little. At the number eight spot is a ride that on paper shouldn't be terrifying at all. Okay. This is at this a remote bad, bro. park in Japan that I visited. And all it is is a calm little bike ride along some track. It's roller coaster track, but it's all completely right. the human whole powered. There's no electricity or anything. 
unlike the other attractions, what makes this one terrifying is that it does feel unsafe. There are two seats per car, and each one of them are positioned oh, okay. there over you go. the that's rails. All, that's so all I wanted to part see. Part of your body is just ever so slightly hanging outside the track, and you know that you could easily just jump off and you die instantly. And it plays with your senses even more when you go around this turn when you're super shit. elevated, way off the ground. The track oh, that hole look rusty too. Oh no! Nah. Like, what if I get tired? Like, you just stuck, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you just stuck, bro. I was I was gonna agree with this one until I seen the whole view. Look at how, t look where the bridge is compared to this damn ride. Well, the answer is no. Track bank slightly outwards. No, it is you so gotta be in shape freaky. too. I was way on edge doing this thing. It was a ride that I didn't expect to freak me out, but I'm on this thing and I'm like, I don't know. Notice there ain't no guys, fat people so on that either, bro. It. And honestly, yeah. it's one of my favorite attractions I've ever done. Let's head to Las Vegas, Nevada for uh -oh. the number seven attraction. This is Big Shot, which is an SNS drop tower on top of <laughs> the Strat, formerly the Stratosphere Hotel. Oh. The actual tower is only 160 feet tall. The problem is, it's on top of one of the tallest towers in the world so no. the total height is over a thousand feet in the air so you are launched to the tippy top of this thing and because of the way you're seated you don't know how much higher you're gonna go so when you shoot up you feel like you're just gonna rocket straight off and then fall to the ground and oh. you're gonna die it's already unsettling being at that top deck of that hotel but then yeah, when I'm you sorry, ride this bro. thing it's like Hell oh no. my gosh this is absolutely insane but you want to talk about a better drop tower the orlando free fall at icon park <laughs> yes the same place that Damn. houses the orlando starfire just recently built a drop tower and this thing is freakishly tall it sits at ground level so it plays with a different kind of fear than what big shot does big shot messes with your head because of how high up you are this plays with your fear because you realize how long of a fall that is you drop Hell and you're falling no. for an uncomfortable amount of time oh. not to mention oh. the seats tilt about 30 degrees oh. this is a ride that is so thrilling my hands sweat every time i ride it but i love it it's so good most Listen drop towers him, don't freak me out but talk this about it bro he's just he's hey yo he just loves it bro this is about this and i beg your pardon <laughs> so thrilling i love it my hands sweat every time i talk about it i, I, I ride it like bro take it easy, easy bro. <laughs> this is one that does and i love it i made it to the number five spot let's go down the road to kissimmee florida and there's a lot of sky coasters uh -oh. out there but by far the most Whoa. thrilling one i've ever done is the world's tallest at fun spot kissimmee. remember being now, out here the best sky coaster mm -hmm. well i haven't done royal rush at royal gorge in colorado that one by far looks to be the scariest but this one's pretty crazy i mean it's located directly over water and there's a fountain right at the bottom that you feel like you're just gonna hit not to mention when you're 300 feet in the air you're literally free falling and you're in a freaking suit no. It's the same sort of fear of no. what Mountain Monster has, except for this, they just no. removed the vehicle. This is about as close to free falling as it gets without skydiving. No. So the number four attraction, let's go back no. to the Strat. Hell they have no. a couple rides up there. We already talked about Big Shot. Let's talk about Insanity. What is this? And this might be the most perfectly named ride ever to exist, because that's all you need to know. It's absolutely insane. You sit in these chairs, which, first of all, it's only a lap bar. So already, that's terrifying. It takes you out over the edge and then it starts rotating you're literally forced to look down over 900 feet below you i'm literally sweating just talking about this ride whoever designed this ride Hell is a no. complete psychopath you talk about a ride that is unsettling on i literally did this once and i was like i'm not doing that again it was that terrifying definitely one of the biggest adrenaline he, he rushes said I've he ever had never doing life. it again but it's only yeah so Bro. far all of these are uh, no and we've Bro, got it's just a lap foot. bar they don't even got you seat buckled in this motherfucker like Nah, bro. All of these. Who, are... who is making these? I think the niggas that make these rides are the same niggas that that do Fear Factor, and they like an office away from each other. And these niggas <laughs> convoluting all these weird ass ideas. Nah, this ain't it for me. Cause... How can we? How can we almost kill niggas? Almost, yeah. <clears throat> At the number Hell. four spot, we still got some crazy ones coming up. We've made it to our top three. Let's go to Colorado. This is Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park. One of my favorite places oh, I've ever been, and they have a ride that is so this messed up. This mountain, is the bro. giant canyon swing. It's an SNS screaming swing. Four riders sit back to back, and depending on which side you're at, you either look straight down at the canyon below, or you get launched off the canyon looking straight up at the sky. No. And you know, you would think that the side where you're forced to stare straight down is scarier. It's not. The side where you're getting launched off is way freakier. No. This is a 
ride that absolutely made my heart race. I had the courage to do it more than insanity. This is another one of those rides where I say, whoever came up with this thing is messed up. Yeah, you almost get more is. people watching it than riding it. But I it's bet. so photogenic. So if you go here, be sure to bring oh, your phone. Because yeah. you're going to want to take a lot of pictures. Yep, when I the last photo. Oh, shit. <laughs> That, you can hear that. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, that's, that's the photo. The oh shit photo. Hillary Bites. Yep. Will yep. you marry? Yep. I went. I spent a full day here, and I'm so glad my phone was fully charged. Oh, that's I why I use the Anchor 521 uh -huh. Charger uh -huh. Nano Pro. It that. charges three times faster than the original chargers that. that I can finally was, use those. Get yours in the description down. Good, theme park. You'll be I mean, all set for a fun charger, day, man, and you'll get that perfect hater. shot of whatever crazy throw ride you get on next. And our number two attraction is one that you'll definitely want to capture the moment for. This is Pterodactyl at Cave of the Winds. So take what? Mountain Monster from earlier and put it in a canyon. So before, where you're dropping towards Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, now you're dropping into a cavern below, and you think you're going to hit the rocks on the other side. No. Oh, and did I mention this thing is also a lot taller? This is a 400-foot cavern. No. So yeah, you could, like, fit dragster from top to bottom. And this thing plunges you all the way down, gives you a real scenic look. But it's honestly kind of hard to focus on the view when you're, like, totally freaking out. This is another one of those attractions oh. where I only rode it once. I'm so glad I did it. But, man, it was terrifying. Oh. But would I do it again? I mean, yeah, probably. Yeah, hey, there's nothing know. quite like that first-time ride. Would. Once you did it, you feel like you can conquer anything. Oh, no. so why not do it again? Well, yeah. unless we're talking about our number one attraction. No way am I doing this thing again. X Scream is our number one scariest ride, and it is the third and final attraction in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Hell? Strat. And I don't think I've ever been so stressed in my life than riding this oh. thing. And it's so simple. We're literally talking about a seesaw, but they put it on top of a freaking building. So Bro, it tilts you, and then nah. you start sliding forward, oh. and you think you're just going to fly straight off oh, the tower bro. down to the ground below, and you're oh, going to be dead. This is the one of psychological. You see that brother on there? Where he at? You, this, here. this this nigga here, bro. Just man, take your skin off, bro. <laughs> Hell no, nah, bro. This brother right here said, "Y'all okay. niggas be playing with death, bro. Like what? What is it?" I'm good on it, bro. Straight off the tower, down to the ground below, and you're gonna be dead. This is the one of the most psychologically demented attractions look how, look in the world. It. I only rode this once. I sat in the front row by myself. Of course, and I of thought course. that was it for me. So if you learned anything from this video, I if you want to get terrified, go to the Stratosphere Hotel in Las Vegas. They literally had three of the ten attractions on here, and they even no, have a fourth. You can jump off the Stratosphere. I didn't put that on here because technically it's not a ride, but that's also terrifying, and I recommend it. So let me know it's, down in the comments just below. Like jumping off of shit. All right, yeah, man. Bro, yeah, until you don't land. <laughs> Hey, bro. <laughs> well, we can confirm not one single ride <laughs> on that video we would actually do. So there we go. There we go. It was confirmed. I was, was trying, confirmed. bro. But I, yeah, I was trying to have an open mind, but you know, you want the bike, bro. Overseas, I was like, all right. You see that shit is swabbly, squiggly, rusty, and all you got to do is lean over, and that's it. <sighs> what's that what's that conversation with god like at that point i don't know anywho man <laughs> hey man hey fam let us know if any of you guys will go on any of these rides in the comment down below or yeah if you've been on one or one that you think should have made this list let mm -hmm. us know I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we got some thrill seekers in the in the in the chat in the comment section so let us know but continue to run up the likes subscribe keep on con commenting and sharing the videos we love you guys spread love you love peace i'm i'm flabbergasted by the goddamn video if you got a problem then we got the solutions and there's no illusion i made this shit happen i'm living life lucid i'm switching my strategies now they hate on me because i'm causing casualties but why are they after me deep inside they know they can't handle half of me